Well, economists say that the decrease in remote jobs is just one of several factors behind the growing unemployment rate in several states. And many are warning that could be a sign of a looming, I don't want to say it, recession. The latest job report shows unemployment is up in nearly half of the country. The Bureau of Labor Statistics reports an unemployment rate of 3.9 percent with 6.5 million Americans currently without jobs. Well, Mitch Rochelle is a principal of Madison Ventures and joins us now to explain the economic impact of all this. Mitch, thanks for joining us on Morning in America. Good morning, Anna. So the April job report shows a small rise in unemployment, but with job gains in various sectors, why do some economists believe this is a cause for real concern? You know, you have to sort of dig into the numbers, but if you look at the trend uh, over the last 10 months, the jobs that really fuel the economy, which are the higher paying jobs, like office jobs, business services, technology jobs, we're, we're barely gaining any jobs there. And a year ago, we were looking at 100,000 plus jobs coming from those sort of white collar job sector. And now we're looking at about 6,000 jobs a month coming from that sector. So there's been a major fall off. And the, while the jobs report is showing 200,000 jobs being created, when you dig into it, you realize a lot of those are second jobs where people are taking on extra work just to make ends meet because of inflation. So yeah. I think the jobs picture is not very rosy. Well, how exactly does the unemployment rate correlate to a possible recession, especially with such a small increase? You know, the problem with the unemployment rate is it's just it's that number is just math and you have to look more broadly at the numbers. But if you step back, the Fed, whose job is to stabilize the economy, really has two, role, two roles. One of them is taming inflation, and they've been trying to do that by, you know, raising interest rates. Their other job is to maintain, you know, full employment in the economy. So if you look just at the unemployment rate, you'd say that they're doing their jobs. But if you look at the what's happening with our job uh, picture overall, you realize that the Fed has a lot of work to do. Uh, and the problem is by raising interest rates, you sort of destimulate the economy. And what you want to do is stimulate the economy to create jobs. So the Fed's really in a pickle right now. And I think as the months drag on, this is going to become a bigger and bigger issue. Well, no matter what the numbers say, it just matters what our perspective is and how we right. feel as, an, as Americans. And a recent poll found that more than 50 percent of Americans incorrectly believe that we're already in a recession. So what does that tell you about the actual state of the economy? And is it as strong as the data would indicate? Um, that That's the problem. You know, politicians hang their hat on whatever win they can. Uh, but if you've been to the grocery store like I have and you buy a loaf of bread and it's now six dollars, you realize that, wait a second, something's wrong here. Um, you know, if you go to the if you go to your favorite fast food place and you realize that, you know, uh, a Big Mac is nine dollars, you know, something's not right. And for the average American, inflation is something that they feel, and they correlate that in their heads to uh, a recession. Um, you know, you don't have to have studied economics in college uh, at the graduate level to understand that when prices are, you know, unattainable and you have to start cutting back, that there's something wrong with the economy. And the best word to put on it is recession. That's why Americans feel that way. Right. And it politically has not been great for the current president, Biden. Um, you know, when people are going to the grocery store and seeing those bills going, holy cow. So you've seen him start to target places like Ticketmaster and airlines and these hidden fees, because that is something that the White House thinks that they can potentially, um, you know, hang their hat on and make a, a, a change. Uh, Mitch Rochelle, thank you so much for your time today. We're going to have to leave it there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.